Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Julia Savvy here. So in today's video, I want to talk about my teeth transformation. I know I haven't made a video in a long time. I want to apologize about that. It's because of so many reasons and I want to talk about that in a completely different video. But I want to apologize about the fact that I haven't gone for so long, okay? So I want to talk about the before and after of my teeth. My before teeth were not cute because they were very gappy. They weren't cute in pictures and they weren't cute in videos, okay? So I was not very confident smiling or taking videos. I just did not, I didn't, I didn't like smiling or anything like that. But aside from that, my left tooth was longer. The, you know, the front tooth was longer than the right one. And it was not cute, which is ugly. So those are some of the reasons why I didn't like my teeth. But moving on from that, what I started to do was I started to save up money and I started to do my research into what I wanted to do to get my teeth fixed. My first thought was that I should get veneers because I started to see loads of people on YouTube doing veneer videos. I don't know if they were sponsored or what, but I liked the way the veneers looked because they looked like the perfect smile. So my friend um, and I were talking and I told her, oh, you know, I've been looking at dentists in Turkey and that's why I want to get my teeth done. And then she told me that she didn't want to get her teeth done in, in Turkey because of the fact that after, you know, five years, if there's a problem or let's say they chip, what's she going to do? Like, where's she going to go? I know you get guarantee. I think it's like five years guarantee but you still need to get it done at a UK doctors and or dentist. And a lot of the UK dentists aren't willing to touch veneers that they did not do, you know? So I started to think, oh, she's got a point there. I really should look at alternatives or I really should look at um, UK dentists instead of Turkish doc dentists. She basically chose a dentist in MK and then she was going for her impressions and I went with her. And in terms of the impressions, um, you know, they did hers and then it was my turn and when I went, they did an x-ray of my teeth. After I got my x-ray done, the dentist came down and sat with me and had a chat with me and in terms of the chat, he practically told me that I did not need veneers, they weren't going to solve my issue, um, just yet and what I needed initially is braces. I was very disappointed because I had, I had the money for veneers and I really wanted to get it done there and there, but... He was telling me that, no, what I need to do is go away and start looking at braces or Invision liners or Invision lines. I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyways, so I started looking at braces um, and Invision liners. Weirdly enough, a couple of days after that, I saw a lady with Invision liners and in terms of her retainer, there was just bare saliva in there. And I was thinking, uh... I don't want to be walking around with saliva in my retainers. I started looking at braces, I started looking at deals online, I started looking at um, Groupon and you know what office I could get on them. The dentist that I choose is Holliston Road Dentist and they're based in Northampton. So I went for a consultation with that dentist and he told me that you know braces or Invisaligners were going to fix my issue but after that I would need either veneers or bonding to close up the rest of the gaps. Two weeks after my consultation, I went for my impressions. And in terms of my impressions, they put this pink clay looking stuff in your mouth. So I went back two weeks after my impressions to get my braces. I'm gonna insert some videos and some clips
um, on the day when I got my braces, I had such a bad lisp after getting them put on. I just got my braces done and as you can hear, I've got a really bad lisp. The process was a bit long, I'm not going to lie. So he's for extra bit of my teeth to make it more full because my teeth are really gappy. I don't know how to feel, it just feels weird. I mean, this is a bit big. But uh, I guess once it's pulled back, everything will just be <laughs> and nice and straight. In terms of food, he's told me to be a bit careful in terms of crunchy things like crisps and things like that because they're going to end up um, snapping my teeth. I just have to be a bit careful on what to eat. I need to eat soft food. I felt quite a bit of tightening on my teeth. I felt pressure, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I want to die kind of pressure. It was more like yeah like my teeth there's something on my teeth and i can feel it like pushing together that day i went to work and in my work i talk on the phones which was not a good idea because the brace was just rubbing into my gums by the end of my shift my gums were finished my gums were so sore they were hurting like crazy I was, I was practically dying. I'm not even over exaggerating. I couldn't eat properly because of the fact that there was so much pressure on my teeth. It wasn't a nice feeling, I'm not even gonna lie. And um, that day, I had to have paracetamol to sleep, okay, honey? Because a bitch was that. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry so fucking bad. Each month after my braces being put on i went to get them tightened six months later this is what my teeth are looking like so far so it's just a bit gahi on these sides and then these two sides so there is a big improvement you know they tightened and tightened and tightened them until after six months and that's when i went back to get the braces taken off and then i got the initial bonding taken off and then i got my final bonding done two weeks after getting my braces taken off and then my bonding done i went to get my retainers which i wear up to this day i got my braces taken off about a month ago and in terms of my retainers i have to wear it every night for like a year i don't mind doing that because nobody's going to see in the daytime do you know what i mean with my bottom teeth, he did initially suggest that I should get braces on them as well, but I didn't want to get braces on them because it was quite expensive, the top one anyway, for me to then get, you know, my, my bottom teeth done as well. But I just got bonding and, I, you know, I'm quite happy with how they turned out. They turned out pretty great and I'm happy with it. Price-wise, my teeth cost about 2500 in total, I think. When I decided that this is the dentist that I want to go with, I paid a deposit about, I think it was like £600. And then every month after that, when I went to get my teeth tightened, I paid like 250 200 250 200 So I generally don't know how much my teeth cost in total. And then obviously later on, when I decided to get my bottom teeth done, I had to add more money to how much I'd already paid. So I think it was about 2500 With this dentist, he was generally the plug because... He only charged me £300 for my bottom teeth. Each tooth should be like £150, but he charged me £300 to get my bottom set filled out and, you know, looking all cute. And he filed them down to the sizes that I wanted. Like, he did an amazing job, honestly. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye!